Dear Dr. Sanjaya, I'm really great in bed. Like, super good. And I want to work as a sex surrogate. Can you help me? Sincerely, Future Professional Penis, Florida. What is up, sapiosexuals? Thank you for turning on Sex in South Beach with your girl, Dr. Sanjaya, America's favorite sex educator. So the sex situation we're getting into right now is all about sex surrogates. You know, professionally trained people who physically teach other people how to improve their sex skills, confidence, and ability to engage in satisfying sexual relationships. Yes, sex surrogates use their mind and bodies to teach people about intimacy, touching, kissing, squeezing, hugging, clothes off, mouths busy, heavy breathing. Mm. And hopefully all this work leads to an orgasm or two. You get the picture? Sex surrogates often, but not always, engage in sex with their clients. But make no mistake about it. Sex surrogacy is not prostitution. It is a legit way of helping some people become more comfortable expressing themselves sexually. So let's get back to Mr. Future Professional Penis, the inspiration for today's show. Future PP, he is a man from Florida who is interested in working as a sex surrogate. Dear Future PP, I'm very pleased to know that you are a man who is really good in bed. I assume you've been told this by your sex partners. However, if nobody has ever told you that you rocked their world sexually, I urge you to spend some time trying to intimately satisfy a partner or two before embarking on a career in sex surrogacy. And, like anyone exploring a new occupation, you should do this preliminary work for free. You know, sort of like an internship that gives you enough experience to decide if this is the career for you. Because, contrary to popular opinion, sex surrogacy is not an easy job. It is not prostitution. Also, not an easy job. But what some ill-informed people associate with sex surrogacy is prostitution. However, that is completely incorrect. Prostitution and sex surrogacy are totally different professions. Let's be very clear about this. Rather than perform sexual acts for your pleasure, a sex surrogate helps adults develop the skills and confidence that is required to engage in healthy, fulfilling sexual relationships. Did you know there are tons of adults out there who are super successful in every area of their life except sexual relationships? And these are the people who hire sex surrogates. They're the successful banker who has never held someone's hand while walking down the street. Or the beautiful lawyer who doesn't feel comfortable being naked and who has never had an orgasm. Imagine that renowned artist who's traveled the world, is completely healthy, but can't stay erect when sexually excited. Or envision the female CEO whose strict religious upbringing conditioned her to believe that sex for pleasure is sinful and therefore she's never been able to enjoy intimate satisfaction with her partner. Dear Mr. PP, these are the types of people with whom sex surrogates often work. They are intelligent and experienced in so many areas of their life, but for a variety of reasons, they have not developed the skills to engage in healthy sexual expression. And using your body and sexual expertise to help these adults improve their sex life? Well, you know what? That requires real training and legitimate certification. That's why the International Professional Surrogates Association was established in 1973, serendipitously the same year I was born. But full disclosure, friends, although the International Professional Surrogates Association We're going to call that IPSA from here on out. Well, even though IPSA and I were both born in the same year, I am not a sex surrogate. Boom! However, I was once interviewed by the news about sex surrogates. And you know what? That news segment went totally viral. So people still contact me years later for surrogate work. 
which of course I take as a total compliment of the highest level. I mean, people want me to use my body to teach them how to have better sex? Wow. Yes, mom, I know you're proud. (laughs) And though I hate to disappoint, I only use my mouth to teach people how to have sex. Specifically, I use words that come out of my mouth, which I've heard is very exciting for some people, but definitely does not qualify as sex surrogacy. According to IPSA, surrogate partner therapy involves a client, a therapist, and a surrogate partner working together to understand and resolve difficulties that a client is experiencing in their sex life. The surrogate participates with the client in structured and unstructured experiences that are designed to build client self-awareness and skills in the areas of physical and emotional intimacy. Mm -hmm. Now, these therapeutic experiences, you know what? They increase the client's knowledge, skills, and comfort. And they also include partner work in relaxation, effective communication, sensual and sexual touching, and of course, social skills training. As the days pass, clients will find themselves becoming more relaxed, more open to feelings, and more comfortable expressing physical and emotional intimacy. Now, the involvement of a team therapist, a licensed and or certified professional with an advanced degree, you know, someone like me, well, this is a cornerstone of surrogate therapy. Clients often experience apprehension as they begin therapy, and when they begin to experience these changes, that's when the team therapist can really help the client make these emotional jumps that help resolve the issues that were blocking them from satisfying sexual experiences. Sessions with the therapist They're interwoven with the surrogate partner sessions in order to facilitate understanding and change. And it is absolutely essential for open, honest, and consistent communication between all members of the therapeutic team. Well, it is essential for this to be occurring on an ongoing basis in order for surrogate partner therapy to be successful. So who needs surrogate partner therapy? There's such a wide range of problems that motivate people to seek surrogate therapy. I'm talking about general anxiety and social situations to specific sexual dysfunctions. There could be issues like negative body image, physical disfigurement, medical conditions, sexual, physical, or emotional abuse or trauma, intimacy issues, phobias and anxieties, unresolved relationship trauma from the past, confusion about sexual orientation, lack of social and sexual self-confidence. Other concerns might include orgasmic inhibition. You know, you can't relax enough to experience an orgasm. Or ejaculatory inhibition. You can't relax enough to come. These are really common issues. Females, they might also be experiencing vaginismus. You know what this is? Involuntary contraction of the vaginal muscles resulting in super painful penetrative sex. I like to equate it with like a garage door is completely down and shut and a car is just ramming into it. Even though the car can get through the garage, it is going to be a very painful experience. Now, clients of any gender may seek therapy to address problems relating to fear and avoidance of sexual and emotional intimacy, lack of relationship experience, shame or anxiety regarding sex, low arousal, and lack of sexual desire. Now, to give you a practical example of this, I recently worked with an extremely smart and successful financial manager, and she was unable to have sex sober. She hated having sex wanted it to be over super fast, and basically could not be mentally present during it, which was a real serious problem for her boyfriend. He said every time they had sex, he felt like he was raping her. Now, she is an ideal candidate for surrogate therapy because learning how to have healthy relationships, how to touch and receive touch, how to be more accepting of your body and sexuality. Well, these are super important aspects of the surrogate therapy process. And those are some issues that she was dealing with that prevented her from having 
good sex. And you know what? Sex is not always part of surrogate therapy. In fact, genital-to-genital contact, it may or may not be therapeutically indicated. And when it is indicated, it's often a really minor part of the therapeutic process. Ultimately, the goal of surrogate therapy is to create opportunities for the client to develop and practice new relationship skills. Therefore, even when there is personal conflict between the partner and the surrogate, these are actually wonderful learning opportunities because this surrogate client relationship, it serves as a model for a real relationship outside of therapy. The surrogate partner's responses to the client and perceptions of the client from inside this relationship can be highly informative for the therapeutic team. Through this genuine relationship, clients experience themselves and intimacy in valuable new ways. Clients learn how to develop trust and satisfying sexual relationships and see that the same potential exists for their future relationships. And eventually... Clients will reach a point where they feel that they're ready to begin new relationships with partners of their own choosing. And that is when surrogate therapy ends. Boom, boom. Dear Mr. Future PP in Florida, if after learning all of this information about sex surrogates, if you're still interested in becoming a surrogate partner, you are in luck. Yes, indeed. Today is your lucky day because IPSA, the International Professional Surrogates Association, well, IPSA offers professional training for surrogate partners. Yes, baby. It's really a minimum of a two-phase process. The first phase of training involves 100 hours of coursework in human sexuality, sex therapy, and surrogate partner therapy. And after you complete phase one, you'll be eligible to begin phase two, which is a multi-year, multi-client supervised internship in surrogate partner therapy. As an intern, you would work with real clients and consult before and after every session with their therapist and other experienced surrogate partners who are going to serve as mentors to you throughout the internship phase of training. Phase two is a required step for anyone who's seeking IPSA certification as a surrogate partner, and it continues until the intern has demonstrated competence as a professional surrogate. Now, once you're qualified, you can be listed on IPSA's website and start helping clients. And of course, all this information and so much more is available on IPSA's website, which is surrogatetherapy.org. Boom, boom. All right, all right, y'all. It is time for the climax when I give you a little something, something to remember about today's topic, sex surrogacy. One. Surrogate therapy is a type of developmental work that helps people become more comfortable and skilled in expressing their sexuality with a partner. A therapist trained in sexuality works with a client and a sex surrogate to establish treatment goals and activities that address each client's unique situation. Two, though sex surrogates may have sex with a client, The ultimate goal of surrogate therapy is for clients to be able to learn and practice sexual and emotional intimacy in order to develop skills and engage in satisfying sexual relationships with future partners. And three, the International Partner Surrogate Association, IPSA, provides detailed information about finding a surrogate or becoming a surrogate and how surrogate therapy works. Their website is surrogatetherapy.com. Dot org, and you can scroll your sexy fingers there to get more info about the world of sex surrogacy right now. <sighs> Back to our friend, dear Mr. Future Professional Penis from Florida. I hope today's show has answered your questions about becoming a sex surrogate. And for the rest of you, send me your questions, comments, and whatever else. Follow Future PP's example. I want to hear about it. I want to see it. Send me anything except a pic of your genitals. I beg you, friends, please don't send those. And if you are one of the weirdos that has already done that, please stop. I'm very specific about the genitals I look at. And baby, baby, yours did not make the list. (laughs) And now that you've learned a thing or two about sex surrogates, the next natural step is to share this show with someone you love. Perhaps someone who needs some surrogate partner therapy. Or maybe 
just to make sure you and your boo have 15 minutes of an exciting sexual conversation, you should uh, listen to this with your partner because you know what? I'll be instigating you guys for 15 minutes and what that's going to lead to is you and your boo getting into a type of a conversation you ain't never had before. I'm telling you, on that drive over to see your in-laws, you know, over the weekend, you need to turn on this podcast and see how much you learn about your special someone. By the time you get to your destination, you'll both have a sexy little secret smile on your face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For your daily dose of Nookie knowledge, check me out on all the social media networks. That's D-R-S-O-N-J-I-A on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Come on, baby. You know it's time for you and Dr. Sanjaya to link up. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for tuning in to Sex in South Beach, where everyone comes for happier, healthier sex. Dang, I keep getting bit by mosquitoes. Why aren't they bothering you? Girl, I never get bit by mosquitoes because I am always wearing Sense Aromatherapy Body Oil. Everyone tells me I smell great, especially the men. But the aromatherapy, it makes me feel super, super happy. And even though men love when I wear Sense Body Oil, mosquitoes hate it. So I never get bit. Smell good, feel good. SenseBodyOil.com. S-E-N-S-E BodyOil.com.